All right, brother. You said that you had also uh, Masonic, right? Masonic yeah. Masonic. I, I, well, my career in law enforcement, I actually joined the Brotherhood of Freemasons. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, how'd Lodge. you get into that? How'd you get into that? Man, you know, a lot of cops are involved with that. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it is, it's, uh, it's a thing that I'm not saying you must do, but... Mm -hmm. 95% of them do. You know what I mean? Uh, now, what's the benefit out of it? Like, what, what's what's the main purpose? Of actually, 95? for me, if you're going to ask me the question, I think it was more like biblical history. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. What intrigued me the most was, they, you know, they talked about King Solomon's temple and mm -hmm. the Holy of Holies, and I've always been intrigued by it. So this actually exists? Yes, it does. It's the occult. There's nothing to be messing with. Okay. I'm going to tell you straight up. All right. Uh, and there's three phases. Uh, first ship. I mean, the first phase is an apprentice. Okay. Uh, even before you get to that phase, uh, you got to be uh, pretty much uh, spoke about. Okay. You know, to be one, you have to ask one. So uh, one of my uh, supervisors, he was a lieutenant. Um, pretty much came up to me and asked me, "Hey, you." you want to join a club and I'm like what kind of club is it you know what I mean <laughs> right. well it's a Freemasons I did my background you know uh, on them and did my research and I've seen a lot of positive things that you know that came out um, out of doing the research you know a lot of them donate money to cancer victims and children with cancer and mm -hmm. you know, the Shriners they have their own hospital and and so forth, you know, and, you know, I was in a position where I'm working with juvenile offenders. Well, why not? Why not do something in the outside? You know right. what I mean? So uh, my lieutenant spoke for me and two other of my uh, fellow brothers in blue, and uh, they petitioned. We petitioned for uh, a spot in the Brotherhood and uh, filled out applications, and um, they did a background. They do a background on you, see if you're good standing, or else they won't take you. Wow. Uh, they what they do is they take men to make them better. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. But only God could do that. Right. You know, no club could do that for you. That's right. You know, so uh, right around 2006, I'm on my fourth year. I'm a fourth or fifth year on a job. You know, I petitioned. It all went pretty good, and you know they do a house interview. Okay. So I had. I mean, like 20, 30 people come to my house, and uh, they spoke to my wife because they speak to the females first. Wow. I didn't know why, but they usually do that because you're going to be, you're not going to be around as much uh, when you, you know, go into meetings or you got to do, um, you know, like uh, take time off to do, um, you know, work uh, as far as uh, donating, you know, getting money for donations and, you know, and so forth. So, um I didn't see that quite a bit, you know, as far as going out there, um, you know, uh, doing any t that type of work first because you have to go through rituals first. Mm -hmm. the, the first phase is the inner apprentice phase. That's phase right. one. And, you know, you do your rituals. They take you in and they tie a toe to your ankle, you know, made of... tie a, a toe? A toe, yeah, ankle toe. They call it the ankle toe. And it's made out of... Um, what do you call it? Um, it's like a harness. Okay. It's like a like a tie. They they tie it around um, your leg and they raise your pants leg up and uh, you know you're there in a suit and then you go around. And, you know you're blindfolded, so you can't really see the actual temple. Hmm. It's a temple. Uh, you know you got Joaquin and Boaz on one side. You know the two towers, uh, which is the two pillars. Or so the Freemasons. This, is, this is like big time. Oh, it's a ritual. This is, this this is like this, sacred stuff. Like. Yeah, yeah. But but see, the way they sh they cookie cut it is that uh, they only get the ones that are like, you know, I would say the ones that are really interested and the ones that are clean cut. Right. All right. Um, and I'm going to add the devil to this, too. Okay. Because when you're in the world, you're of the devil. Your father the devil, right? Right, right. Uh, when you don't have God on your mind at all times, from when you wake up in the morning to when you go to sleep at night, you're of your father the devil. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to say it like that, but I'm going to be bold and honest, you know? Right. Uh, I was in the right state of mind then, you know? I had some marital problems, so I felt like this, this was an outlet for me to get out mm -hmm. and have uh, fellowship with other brothers. Uh, yeah, right, because you wasn't getting yeah. that with the churches. I wasn't getting that with the churches back home because, I mean, they were uh, preaching prosperity. Right. Okay. You know, give me a dollar, God gives you a thousand, and God doesn't work that way. Right. Man, you got to work for, you know, you got to work to eat. So, yeah. nah, don't wait for a handout. So how long did the first phase last? Uh, the first, see, what they do is they bring you into the temple, mm -hmm. and they have the secretary 
which is a male. We're all males. There's no female masons here. Okay. I know in Europe, I think they do, not here. Unless you're an Eastern star, that's different. Okay. But the Freemasons, the blue, you got the Blue Lodge, which is composed of all different nationalities and and, and backgrounds of, of, of Masons. Right. To include different religious sets, Hindu, Muslim, whatever. You could be a atheist, they don't care. You could be Satan, you could be a devil worshiper. Wow. And they'll bring a devil worshiping Bible right there, Satanic Bible, so you could wow. you take the oath. Yeah, they don't care. See, I didn't know that mm. until I started doing more homework on it. Now, what did I get myself into? But did you ever get that far? Oh yeah, I became a master mason. Okay. I mean, the, far, the the highest you can go is thirty third. But okay. even at thirty second, the, the, see from the ranks of thirtieth to thirty three, which is three, uh, that's when they divulge the, the the actual truth to you. I got you. You know, which they have you in darkness all those years, and then once you start climbing up the the you know, the rituals and the phases, and mm -hmm. you go up the the ranks or degrees, <clears throat> right. we call it. Uh, you could go from the third degree to the thirty-second degree in a weekend. <clears throat> wow! Oh yeah, you could do it in two days. They call that the fast track. But usually, to get that high, it takes years. Wow. It take it takes years. But you could do it the other way. You gotta pay some money or talk to whoever. I heard that some people. If I, I might have, might be mistaken, but I know. I know some of these rich people, these Hollywood people, they give land millions of dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah. It all depends because those are called dues, right? Okay. And you, you're talking about occultic, satanic uh, individuals that work in Hollywood, uh, you know, of, of, of you know, reverence, mm -hmm. of money, of people of power. You know, um, I didn't know all that. Because when you got scales in your eyes, you can only see so much. Right. But when God removes those blinds off your eyes, you start seeing who's who for what they are. Wow. You know, uh, and not every every Masonic lodge. I mean, we all they all talk about the same, but everybody's different. Mm -hmm. You know, because in order for you to be a Shriner, you got to be a Mason. For you be a Knights Templar, you got to be a Mason. And you, the the more you go up in that pyramid, and the highest you could go is a rough child. Right. They're the highs of the highs. Really? Yeah, they're the satanic children of Satan. Wow. They actually sit on the table and they have a special chair for Satan right there. And he comes and talks to these family members and they're the ones that, the, the shaking and bakers, I call it. Now, this all has to do also with the, um, those people who go out into the wood and they burn that wooden owl and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. You're talking about uh, those, uh, the Illuminati. Illuminati, okay. So right. This that, has... To do with oh people? yeah, you have to be a Freemason to be there. All the presidents were Freemasons. Okay. A small portion weren't, but they were Jesuits. This is the same thing. Okay. Yeah, even the Pope. They right. don't. And they don't, I'm gonna be honest. They they don't actually have to do the whole ritual. They have to watch. Right. And because of their power and rank within the church. But it's still controlled by. They, them. Oh yeah, it's, everything is controlled by the white and black Pope. Yeah. So black and white, which is uh, white and black tiles, is where oh, we have our temple. That's where you get that. Yeah, okay. the yin yang, you know, the, the right. good versus evil. You got to have one of the balance, ah, and that's right. the work of the devil. God doesn't work that way. He right. doesn't manifest that way. That's all the trick of the devil. You know, the world, the, the devil knows the Bible better than me and you put together, right. because he was there when God was putting it together, mm -hmm. and of oh, course yeah. he fell. Of course, but he knows. Yeah, he could twist the word of God and make it so clean like honey in your mouth. They wow. say, well, this guy is a man of God. But no, you got to keep, you got to go beyond that, honey. Right. You got to go around it and do your research. Mm. Because they, they're going to give themselves up. You know what I mean? A lot of these guys and women, men and women that work in Hollywood, they're all Satanists. I bet. All of them are Satanists. And you know what? Anybody could tell me different. I, I really don't care because I know. Certain hand signs that you do. You know, the pyramid, the rock, you know, Jay-Z mm -hmm. calls this the rock. It's a pyramid. Right. All right? But in that pyramid, there's 13. Right. You also got the, yeah. uh, what was this? The, uh, well, that, that's the, the horns of the devil. Right. The devil's right. horns, yeah. And, you know, that's Illuminati. You, you could use it mm -hmm. for the, the Shriners use it too. Right. That's the Moloch. Okay. Moloch is the actual owl that they worship out in California, all these big shots, big corporations. They mm -hmm. go there, and that's where they make the presidents too. Really? They make presidents there. They know which president they're going to make. They make them. They, all this po political stuff, right. that's just BS. That's bullshit. Why? That is bullshit. That, that, that is the most deceiving uh, thing in America. 
They know which the Rothschilds makes the presidents. They're trillionaires. They own the world. They own. They own like ninety percent of the world. Yeah, and plus, if you have all these superstars and all these, you control their puppets. Well, and not only that, they got the money to buy land. Oh yeah. And eventually, it's going to be one government. Yes. Or one secret government, should I say, the like uh, the Illuminati or the Masons. Right. Who will control all this land? But see, the the Masons are the foot soldiers of the Illuminati. You understand right. the pyramid, right? Yes. Yes. It's shaped like a like a triangle, right? right? So we're at the very bottom. At the very bottom. And then above that, you got different families. You know, different. Uh, above that, you got York Rite, uh, Scottish Rites, mm -hmm. which are also sets of different branches of uh, Freemasons. And then you go into Knights Templar, and, and you got, uh, you know, so Shriners. I guess that's where you get the all seeing eye from. Uh, the all seeing eye is the Lucifer. Right. Underneath them is the Rothschilds. Underneath them is the Council of Thirteen. Or the wow. Council of 33, or 13, no, 13. Underneath them, you got the Council of 33. Underneath them, you got big, you know, different corporations like the CFR. Wow. The Council of Foreign Relations. And underneath them, you got, you know, like six big companies that own all the, mer you know, all, they own all the real estate and they own all, like, media outfits, you know, like, um, uh, I said media, um, they own all different types of yeah, like like those people who are like Warren Buffett who owns well, all these yeah, he's a thirty third. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so they own uh, you know property, they own land, they Fox, own everything. Yeah. Everything. So you got six corporations in the world that owns ninety percent of the assets and the money of the world, right? Mm. So even the Federal Reserve is not of the United States; it's a separate entity. That's ran by the Rothschilds. See, the Rothschilds, they run all that from their house. Wow. And they live out in, in England. They don't they don't leave that house. You, yeah, I heard something about that. They don't leave the house. Why is that? I mean, is there Because that's where the something? devil dwells. Gotcha. The, dwell, the, the devil could only be in one place. God is everywhere. Yeah. You understand? True. Um, yeah, because God is... Uh, he's. He's Everlasting. Omnipresent. He's omnipresent. Yeah, he's he, everywhere. He, you he, can't he, put God in there, sir. Yeah, he's too and, big. And you can't have, you can't have the devil, no. everywhere. You know, he's, no. he's limited to his power. One spot. Amen. Well, he'll use his foot soldiers to do other things. Yeah, exactly. They're all demons. They're all demon possessed. They're vessels. They're fleshly vessels that are, uh, um, they are compartmentalized. They shred, they, they, they're like shattered. They shatter their brains, and it's just it's like MK Ultra, right? They they use MK Ultra to um, break the minds of people, mm -hmm. and then they mold them the way that they want them to go. Wow, you know what I mean? Or satanic ritual abuse. That's that all comes together with uh, the Freemasons. So their ultimate goal is pretty much to have to, one world, one world order, one world religion, one world religion, and. One world currency. currency. Yep. To eventually rule the world. Rule the world, right? Which is to usher in also the, the mark Antichrist. Of the, the, the Antichrist, Mark of the Beast, and so Mark on. of the Beast, right. So you've seen all this firsthand. Yeah. Oh, yeah, firsthand. I mean, I've seen the rituals. I see where they, they imitate them trying to kill you. Wow. You know, when you get in your masters, they put you like, they, they simulate that they're stabbing you and they're killing you like a two ball cane, you know? Mm hmm. Um, so in other in other words, like you almost have to kind of like the way we have to be reborn. Yes, they're making a mockery out of, de, of, mockery. of of baptism. Right, and, and it's and it's actually reversed. And you know what? The devil works like that because yeah. so if we have to be reborn, they pretty much say you have, you to, have to, kill to die people. first. You have you to die. kill yourself for the devil. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So just like the you know like the satanic baptism, they do they baptize them in blood and uh, you know like uh, cast iron bathtub right if you see the videos that you see like this girl named um uh rihanna is one of them that right. she's done uh blood uh sacrifices mm -hmm. and she's done a blood baptism but they won't show blood in the bathtub they show water but it's symbolic the water their water is symbolic to blood right and they have to get in that bathtub even eminem you see him on on, uh, on one of those magazines, he's just leaning back, bare chested, with blood up to his to his stomach. Wow! In a, in a, in a cast iron, you know, um, bathtub, and that's how they do their rituals. Everything is backwards. Who's the other guy? I know uh, there's a lot of them. A lot of them. 
Yeah. Was it Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne is another. That's the most satanic one around. Right, him, yeah. Lil Baby, oh, the one okay. that promotes him. He's he's a pedophile. He's a fag. Wow. Oh, yeah. They're all homosexuals. They have to be like the Baphomet. Like, the is it Baphomet, above? Like, yeah. is it below? You see the Baphomet? Yes, yes. He has four arms. Something like well, that. no, no. That, that's Hindu. I'm talking about okay. the Baphomet is the... The the God of the Knights Templar. Okay, I'll post the picture as you're saying this. Yeah, I'll post it, the it, it's a goat's face with horns. Right, has breast of a woman and the remaining uh, uh, lower half of a man, and then the the feet of of a goat. Wow, you know, so they worship that. That's Lucifer. All right, it's wow. disgusting. Yeah, they eat fecal matter. They drink urine. I mean, it's disgusting. I, I never did that, you know. I never got that high up right. to do nothing like. But when you're up there and they expose everything to you at the 30th to the 33, you know, it, it's a, you're done. You're selling yourself to the devil at that point. And then not only that, you're yeah. sworn to secrecy. Yeah, you sworn never to divulge any information, but to always protect and help your fellow brother. That's wow. it. Yeah. Yeah. And oh so yeah. That's the, that was the pretty first step, and then what was the, the second? The second is fellow craft. That's fellow craft. yeah. That's uh, the second degree fellow craft. Okay. Uh, same kind of rituals, but it's now you go from raising your pant on the uh, pants, you know, like trousers on the right. Now you're gonna do it on the left, and now you got a different ankle toe with a ball. You know. Man, that's crazy. And man. then you blindfold it. Take you, you know, the actual uh, officer. They call them officers, the ushers. I call them ushers. They usher you around, and you got to bow where you have to bow, and you got to, you know, do what you got to do, and wow. and they make you face the the worshipful master of the east, the worshipful master of the the west. Uh, this is a specific part in the lodge. Uh, it's empty, and that's the north. You never face the north, you know, which it resembles where the Lord is at. Right. You know, they say that God is, you know. Straight up north, you know, um, but they don't make you do nothing with that. Um, it's just like senseless rituals, you know. And you want your ego to get through. You eager to get your ring, you know, your token, yeah, or, or any other, uh, you know, Masonic memorabilia that you could wear. You put it on. I've your, met somebody when I was working yeah. at, at the shipyard. Uh, yeah. Someone who did have a ring. Yeah, I used to wear a ring all the time. Okay, so yeah. they give you rings. No, no, you have to buy it. You have to purchase it yourself. Oh. Or if you're my brother. And I'm giving you a token of my appreciation to you because you already became a master. Right. Well, here's a, uh, sometimes they'll give you a dime with a, a compass and square on it. Wow, okay. You know what I mean? Unless you really put it up close to see it, that's yeah. a token of appreciation and love from your brother. Gotcha. Or they'll probably, you know, well, you know what? We want to buy you your first ring. Mm -hmm. Or they'll give you a shield to put in your car. You nice. know what I mean? Got so you. everybody sees that your brother, leave you alone. You get special privileges, you know, you get pulled over, cop, they have a nice day. Because they so, all, yeah. So the ultimate goal here is that if anybody ever, I guess, approaches somebody, right. stay stay far away from this. Oh, you're going to have to stay far away from them and run. Yeah. Don't stay close because, see, the, the problem with that is they use the, the, the actual word brotherhood as an advantage to them. And sad. It's a what, catchy. It's a you honey. say brotherhood also... Yeah. Like uh, this is going around a lot in the colleges. Oh yeah, the you know the Alpha Kedas and yeah. all them. They, that's all Greek. Yes. Um, and a lot of them becomes uh, after a while, they'll become our uh, bones and skulls. Wow. Oh yeah, especially if you're in a Yale, that's where they come from, you know. But they do have they have, you have to be a master mason before you become a you know mm -hmm. anything else, uh, depending on. You, you know, your upward mobility is, and rituals, the quicker you get them done, the quicker things are revealed to you. But like I said, you could go as high as you want. If you got money, you could buy your way up. Mm -hmm. You know, honorary. You know how many times they give honorary doctorates that people have never ever been in college? Yeah. You know, like, uh, for example, uh, Bill Cosby got an honorary uh doctorates right mm -hmm. so they jacked them up with some of these women and stuff they took it away but he's a freemason ah. but see if, if you start exposing them they'll go after you they'll go after your family they'll try to kill you because the government is part of it it's not only civilians the government is in cahoots with these people right right and in every there's sectors throughout the whole country that split apart i i don't know if it's northeast south and, and west but they have witches 
that are in charge of these sectors and warlocks that are in charge of these sectors and they pretty much monitor the 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 satanic um, you know I'm gonna use the satanic uh, you know um, members mm -hmm. you know like they call congregation too just like the opposite of being a, a, a uh, uh, Jesus believer, you right. know, I don't want to use the word Christi, you know, Christianity, yeah. um, but I want to, you know, uh, believers, right? So they have a specific warlocks and, uh, you know, Council of 13 witches, which are either male or female, mm -hmm. and pretty much they're in charge of thousands of members of the congregations and the local witches and warlocks that are in charge of that congregation. Wow. And... A lot of them are politicians, heavily involved in witchcraft, mm. and they have to do certain rituals and certain things in order for them to gain favor with the Rothschilds, and then they send uh, orders of, 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 you know, orders of doing things for the for, for that family. Wow! You know, they give them orders, and and with those orders come money comes with it. And so, so like the exact same way we try to expand the kingdom of God, they're doing it the other way. They're doing it the other. Oh way. yeah, they like, it, it's satanic at the core. This whole country is not based upon Christianity. It's satanic mm -hmm. from head to toe. Don't ever think that the president is not a satanic worshiper either. Don't ever think. And I'm going to put it out there, too. I'm going to put it out there. <laughs> nice. I'm going to put it out there. Because, I mean, come on. Their God is money. Lucifer. Right. They don't have none of want or need. Doesn't the Lord says it in the Holy Scriptures, ye that are poor, you're rich. Right? We're rich in favor to the most high. That's right. All you got to do is ask and God provides. Uh -huh. If he provides for the little critters and, and the birds of the air and the fowls of the, you know, the how air, much more us. how much more us that he loves us even more. Uh, no, we were yeah. made in his creation. Yeah. But these people are satanic at the core. They don't believe in God. They hate mm -hmm. God because their God is Lucifer. Yeah. And I was involved in that. Wow. I met witches before. They've revealed themselves because when you're in and you get yourself out, See, what got me out was God's love and grace and mercy. So, looking back, yeah, uh, you wouldn't trade nothing in the world for Never. Uh-uh. Right. I'm, a, I, 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 I'm humbled Amen. to the 20th power. Amen. <laughs> you know, I would never change anything right. because the Most High had something to do with it. Amen. See, and I didn't know, I, I thought it was just things that you know at times you know you do something that you ain't supposed to do you reap what you sow yeah. a lot of it was reaping and sowing don't get me wrong but the bulk of it the bulk of it was God breaking me down from being a juvenile all the way up to I'm in my 40s now you know so I'm a different type of person now Amen. you know everything that was taken from me that I thought it was taken away from me God gave it back multiply with interest it, multiply it. so you know I, I, at times when I fellowship when with other brothers and sisters, you know, I, I, I share with them portions of my testimony or whatever benefits them, you know, in the walk. And they're like, how did you do it? You know, someone once told me, he said, uh, the devil likes to subtract and divide. Yeah. And the Lord likes to add and multiply. Multiply. <laughs> Just <laughs> like <something>. Abraham. <laughs> Amen, brother. Just like Abraham. That's right. You know, but uh, I mean, people like yourself, you know, through you, I got to see the apostle. All right. Yeah. You know, I would have never got to see Pastor Jennings mm -hmm. if it would have been because of the word of the word made simple. Uh, yeah. Made simple, you know, on, on YouTube, and then from there we started fellowshipping, yeah. and I started watching all his, you know, YouTube channels through you, Tony Harving, right, and, right. and everybody else, and you know, just before I came here, the Lord spoke to me. He goes, "Well, you need to be baptized. You need to be holy, brother." You got Amen. the Holy Spirit in you, you speak in tongues, now it's time for you to be baptized. Amen, that's right. So from here, I'm going to go to the Holy Convocation, hopefully in July. That's right. And that's I'm right. going to be baptized there. I got to go see Pastor Gino Jennings and see if uh, he, he knows what to do with yeah. me. Well, you see, there you go, guys. You have it. Here's bro Brother uh, Vic. And uh, hopefully he'll be there, God willing. Hopefully I'll be there, God willing. Hopefully yeah. Tony First Holly. church. Yes, Rocks. amen. And uh, last last week of July. Last week of July. Also, if there's anybody out there considering to becoming uh, a Freemason, don't do it. That's right. Don't do it. If you need to talk to somebody that's been there, you could contact me at 330-707-5159. Or you could shoot me an email, which is lowercasevr13377 at gmail.com. 
uh, at any time. I'm available all day long. So just wanted to say God bless you. Uh, be safe. Do the right thing.